Alright, I apologize for the appearance. I know this test is a little bit higher than normal, but I'm basically in the process of doing go live sessions today. So anyways, what we just went over a couple minutes ago was uh, this past video's project, which was character words. But in today's go live session, we kind of did the same project, but instead of doing character pillars, we did words of our choosing, such as um, favorite food, favorite video game, favorite subject, uh, favorite uh, location, place to go, and stuff like that. So anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this recap, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So if you want to follow along, feel free to get a sheet of paper to draw on and something to draw with, and then we'll get started. And again, you don't have to follow along if you don't want to. Um, this is just for um, you guys to understand how this past video worked. But if you want to follow along, uh, we are doing something completely different from the video. All right, so hopefully you guys can see my screen. Uh, basically, it's uh, my sketchbook, and I have two examples here from the video. Uh, so what we did was we went over the character pillars. There's six of them, and we did it in this really interesting way. It was like this. So you've probably seen this in the hallway, hanging up, and um, it looks really cool. But in today's video, we're going to be doing something very similar, but with different words instead of character pillars. So over here, I have my example, which I'll do with you guys. And then I have an example right here to show you uh, what will not work if you did it incorrectly. So anyways, here we go. All right. So first of all, the word trustworthiness is a very long word. Now, here's the thing I get asked a lot. Will the word trustworthiness fit in a big spot or a thin spot? Let's test that out. So over here, I have a big spot and a thin spot. So what I'm going to do is the word trustworthiness. Trustworthiness looks like this. T-R-U. And notice how I'm reaching the top of the line and the bottom line with my letters. That's how you're supposed to do it. Now, here's the problem you run into. It's not going to fit. Trustworthiness does not fit in that big spot. The reason why it doesn't fit is because the letters don't get small. So what happens is that you're supposed to make sure that you pick a thin spot. So let's try that same word again. Notice how the W is pushed back a little bit further, so it will be able to fit. Just like this. All right. See how that works? So again, Thinner spaces are for bigger words. Larger spaces like this is for shorter words. Now, with that said, we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. Here we go. So if you're following along, you're going to need a piece of paper and something to draw with. For me, I'm going to have a Sharpie because it's easier to see on video. And here I go. So first of all, I'm going to draw my lines. I'm going to draw six in total. So one, two. And again, I'm drawing something completely different this uh, today versus the video. Three, four, five, and six. All right, there we go. I have six different lines here, and here we go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get some volunteers, and you're going to be able to raise your hand, and I'll call on you. So here's the questions I want to ask you guys. So this will be kind of like a combination of Mrs. Moore's class and Ms. Kumbaugh's class combined interests. So what I mean by that is I'm going to ask you guys a couple of personal questions that you guys can answer. So my first question is, what is your favorite type of food? Can anyone tell me by raising their hand and tell me what your favorite food is? I'm gonna pick Gio. What's your favorite food? Che cheeseburgers. Okay, cheeseburgers, that is a long word. So with that said, Gio, can you unmute yourself real quick? Gio, would cheeseburgers fit better on a bigger space or a thinner space? A bigger space. Are you sure? It's a long word. A, a thinner space. Yeah. Because we choose thinner space, the letters can get smaller. Now, for you guys, if you guys are following along, if your che is cheeseburger your favorite food, then you can copy me. But if your favorite food's like pizza or something else, I'd rather have you guys write down your favorite food instead. So here we go. So I'm going to copy what Gio said. So he said cheeseburger. So let's see if the word cheese fits. It does. And the word burger should fit as well. All right. That was a good word. All right. My next question. Now, again, if... The word doesn't fit. There is a cheat way how to do this. If you have a blank space like how I have over here, look what I did on mine. If I if something doesn't fit, you can add it with like an icon, maybe like a heart, a pencil, um, this other one, this other student, star, heart, husky paw. So if something doesn't fit, you can cheat it by adding a drawing. So here is top bun, bottom bun, some layers, maybe the actual burger itself with some melted cheese. 
and then some lettuce, a lot of lettuce, and then the sesame bun. There you go. See, I cheated a little bit. All right, here's my next question. What is your favorite subject or special? Who wants to answer that? I can have two volunteers for this one. What's your favorite subject or special? Adriana. I would probably say art and PE. Okay, I'm gonna pick one of those. I'm gonna pick art. I'm gonna pick another one here. Kayla. My favorite um, subject or special is art and library. Okay, I'm gonna pick your second choice because it's something different. I'm gonna pick library. As a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna stop right there. So let's see if I can fit both of them somewhere. I think I'm gonna pick the small section right over here maybe. So I'm gonna put the word art right here. Perfect. And then in order to divide it, maybe I'll draw like a paintbrush. And again, if you don't have, uh, if none of these are a favorite subject, then you can draw something else. And then libraries like this. Let's see if it fits. And again, last uh, the video before that was character pillars. We're doing just our favorite things. All right, let's pick another one. All right, what is your favorite? I know you guys play video games. What's your favorite video game? Adrian. What's your favorite video game? Fortnite. Fortnite. Cool. All right. Let's draw the word Fortnite. Let's see. That's a really hard spot to put because it's a short word. Actually, it'll probably fit up here, probably. Let's try. F O R. I'm pretty sure the T in Fortnite is the middle of the word, so I'm pretty sure I'm safe. Let's see. I'm pretty sure I'm safe that's going to fit. It does. Great. All right. Fortnite does fit. Yay. All right. So we did favorite food. Favorite subject or special, and then favorite video game. Let's try another one. How about favorite? Um, hmm. How about favorite drink? Favorite drink. Anyone favorite drink? It could be milk, Dr. Pepper, um, slushy from 7-Eleven, maybe a latte from. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys can have lattes. I don't know. Uh, who else wants to tell me their favorite drink? Alyssa, I saw your hand raised. Go ahead. I think the Shirley Temple. Wow, that's complicated. Shirley Temple, let's see if I can find a spot for you. Let's see, I'm gonna put it uh, right here. And again, for you guys following along with me, you'd wanna do your own uh, favorite drink if it's not Shirley Temple. So if that were me, I'd probably draw the word um, Dr. Pepper. But for purposes of the volunteers, she picked Shirley Temple. I think that's how you spell Shirley. And temple is T E M P L E. There we go. All right, we have about four minutes left, and we have two, no, three spots left. All right, let's think of something else. What is, hmm, what is your favorite piece of technology? That's a good question. What's your favorite piece of technology? Is it a phone? Is it a Nintendo Switch? Is it a PS4 controller? What is your favorite specific type of technology? It could be a lamp. <laughs> it could be your kitchen lamp. I don't know. It could be a microwave. PS, uh, an Xbox. What's your favorite type of technology? Let's see. You know what? Um, any of my TAs, my TJ assistants, do you guys see any other hands up on your screens that I'm I not seeing? Ben. On? Uh, who? Ben. Ben, would you like to tell us uh, what's your favorite piece of technology? Xbox. An Xbox. Xbox. Awesome. All right, Xbox, I like that. I'm going to choose maybe this box over here, uh, this space right here. X box. And here's the thing. Here's the problem with that. Uh, I, It doesn't go all the way to the end. So maybe I should pick a second volunteer who wants to tell me that can maybe go over here. Who can tell me something that could fit over here by telling me what's their favorite piece of technology? I'm going to pick another volunteer. Um, I see still the same faces on my screen. I see Kinley. I do not see Kinley. Kinley, will you want to share? An iPad. An iPad. All right, that's a four-letter word. I think I'm going to be safe. We'll check it out. Uh, I pad. 
All right, we have a big space right here, but I think I can solve it by drawing stuff. Maybe I'll draw an iPad here. I think that's how you draw an iPad. And then maybe for an Xbox, I will draw a controller. All right, there you go, problem solved. All right, I know it's not exactly an, uh, an Xbox controller, but I tried my best here. And I don't want to run out of time. All right, so we have two more spaces, and then we have two more minutes, which is great. So we have a minute for each, basically. All right, what is your favorite, hmm. What's your, what's your favorite place? I've never done that before. What's your favorite place, anyone? Disney World, McDonald's, my house, your house, Homestead. What's your favorite place? Uh, Ms. Fitzpatrick, what did you say? Dawood has his hand up. Okay, Dawood, I do not see your hand up, so go ahead. My favorite place in the whole wide world is Chuck E. Cheese. Okay, I'm gonna pick this space right here. Chuck. And then I'll make sure the E is really big. E. And I think the word cheese is actually shown twice here. Yeah, because someone said cheeseburger for the first one. Awesome. All right, we have one more blank space. Um, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. It could be anything you want. It could be it could be favorite food, favorite technology, favorite drink, favorite subject, favorite video game, favorite place. I don't want to give me something for this last space. Anyone? It could be anything of what we already said of your favorite thing. Anyone? We've got a minute I, left. I see Sophia B. Okay, Sophia B. Would you like to help us out by filling this last space out? Yes, I would. Um, my favorite place to go, it's called Juicy O's. You should go there every Saturday and Sunday because their donuts are really good. I know exactly where that is. Um, actually, by me at least. By me, it's in Willowbrook. So, uh, it's actually really cool. All right, we do have a, a tiny space. Anyone else? Adrian. Okay. So, subject or something? Okay. Okay, so it was uh, oh sports. Um, it was um football. Okay, football. Oh, boy. All right. Well, that said, if you have, uh, if you are following along with us, you can sh hold it up to your uh, computer screen or computer camera, so we can all see it. And with that said. Uh, we will be logging off because we did go overboard. So right now I'm going to uh, hit uh, stop recording. And if you want to share with us what you've done, 